Outrocast. Phoebe, how is your day going aside from talking to journalists who are going to ask you the same five questions over and over again? Oh, dear. First of all, you need to talk about your apartment, which is bomb. Oh, my God. You have a great home. Oh, thank you. It's it's not too far from Brooklyn. It's Long Beach, Long Island. You ever been out here? I have not had the pleasure, but maybe I should because look at all this space. Yeah, the eight by, <laughs> I need your 8x11 on the wall. We'll, we'll get that happening one day. But, you know, congratulations about Everything's Trash. You know, coming out with the back-to-back episode, that's when you know when you're the real deal. When did you find out about that when you get the two episodes in the row? I was excited. Gosh, I think it was like um, a few months ago. And um, it's it's nice that Freeform believes in me that much. And yeah. I'm so pumped because I really do think this show is super funny. So I hope that people watch it and then they'll want to come back for more. Well, Everything's Trash is a partial title that was a book of yours a couple of years ago. Was it a working title or did you know all along, hey, this show has got to be called Everything's Trash? Oh, I mean, I had no idea when I wrote the book back in 2018 that I was going to turn into a show. Um, And so I was just like, sort of like everything's garbage, but we're all still here and surviving. And then I think for the show, I was like, that feels too long. So let's just make it everything's trash. But the spirit is still the same. Like we all got flaws and making mistakes, but we're going to we're going to have fun while we're figuring shit out. Yeah. Well, at this point in time, it's kind of hard to define you. You know, are you an author, comedian, showrunner, creator, et cetera? But was this what you were working towards when you first got into the comedy game? Yeah. I mean, my dream was always to have, you know, my own half hour sitcom. And, you know, it's took 14 years to get to this point, which is really exciting. And um, yeah, I just, I'm pinching myself. When I woke up today, I was like, this is really cool. Michelle's coming out in two days and I'm really excited about it. And, you know, I, I just, I'm so grateful. I know it all sounds woo woo and whatever, but truly when you're in the trenches and you get told yeah. no so many times that when someone finally gets it and believes in you, you're just like, yes, you know? How far are the seeds do uh, this show go back to? For example, when you're working on Girl Code, was this show in the back of your mind? No, I would say when I was working on Girl Code, I was just more like, okay, I got this one job. Let me try and get like another job. You know, I was still piecing together my paychecks to like afford my life. And so in earnest, when I started trying to develop shows for myself in, t- in 2015, like I would have one that almost went, another one that almost went. Right. And- and then when I linked up with my showrunner, Jonathan Groff, who comes from Blackish and Happy Endings and a million other brilliant shows, we just both really loved the book and thought that that would be a great foundation to build the show on top of. So is Pratt knocking on your door constantly now going, <laughs> please host the galas? <laughs> no, they're not. I mean, but they're so good. And I, I love that school so much. And I got to do like a panel talk with... Um, Questlove before he won an Oscar and he's like such a big deal so it was like so cool to kind of do that stuff but I would love to when I have a little bit of downtime to do some stuff with Pratt because I think they have such a great you know writing program and all that stuff yeah any other because I know you studied screenwriting at Pratt anyone else that was in your class that we may know of from your era of Pratt Who's, uh, no, I think I'm the only one that, you know, really, because our writing program was pretty small. I want to say it was like 40 people, if that. So it's pretty small, but um, I think I'm the one that really sort of stuck with screenwriting and all that stuff. So, yay. <laughs> the last question before I let you go. Obviously, your show is the best show on Freeform. But what's the second best show on Freeform? <laughs> Try to get me in trouble. Okay, we will, I will say... And th- there are no shows that are the best on Freeform. They're all great, but I really am obsessed with Single Drunk Female. I love yeah. that show so much. It's so well acted and so funny. And so I'm glad they're doing a season two. I can't wait to watch it. Derek Bernard knows what he's doing. Well, either yeah. way, <laughs> thank you for your time and looking forward to whatever's next for you, whether it's a TV show, a book, a cameo, whatever it is, keep up all the greatness there. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Darren. You're such a delight. Outrocast.